So good fast start here. Good to see Venner out of the blocks early and he's taking them with them. I think the Mentone runners there, we've probably got Bucci would be one who'd be figuring early as well. Likes a fast start. And then it looks like the red uniform there. Which one's that? Could be Logan Tickle. So coming down from Bendigo in that South Bendigo red and white strip. So sitting in the mid-pack there, Zach Granger. We'll watch Alan Vernal's just biding his time out the back at the moment. He'll just sit there and just watch him go for it. We've got the two unthanked boys as well. How are they going to make my life easy? Oh, they very rarely do. And their forces up there. Oh, one's got the red hand headband. Red headband is Josh. All right, G pushing and shoving. I love this. 51 through. Also, we've got, um, who was that from Yarra Rangers? That was Luke Hunter. Also looking good. So, yeah, they're a little bit of argy-bargy, which is good at this stage of the race. And they're going through probably around 66. So pace is on for around a 4.10 or under. I reckon they'll be sub at this pace. Bucci looking good as well. The Unfanked boys sitting midfield. Granger there. We've also got Stott in the Geelong Guild uniform. Vernal's still happy to just sit out the back and just watch it all unfold in front of him. Looks like it is a Knox 1, 2, 3 at the moment. I'll just make sure I've got three on the list. One, two, three. It is a one, two, three for Knox out front. Bucci in next position, I think that is. And then we have got Tickle. Also, we've got the St. Kevin's runner there and Will Lindsay. Stott on the inside rail. Granger going outside and going wide. Hunter from Yarra Rangers also around there from Chilwell. That is Jacob Sprunt sitting at the back. We've also got Angus McAfee from Bendigo University in the yellow strip. So I think Nick Martin leading the way at the moment. Venner in next position. And then Patton in that order. So they're through in about 2.12. So very consistent pace from Martin. He's actually having a very, very good year this year, Nick Martin. We're going to see this young man starting to really go up the ranks. And this will be a man in the A races within a few years, I have no doubt whatsoever. Venner, another one. One to watch as they go through and just carve out their careers here at Milers Club, learning how to race and how to race quick. And this is what we're seeing from Nick Martin at the moment, really setting this up, taking his teammates with him. We're seeing a few moves, and it looks like it might be um, Lindsay from um, uh, St. Kevin's being one of those movers. I'll also like what I'm seeing from Hunter. He's going wide a lot but he's really bullocking his way through. We saw Neil Brennan running earlier in the night, and Hunter reminds me a little bit of Breno, just likes a bit of push and shove. So Martin leads them through at 3.04. They're set for a sub 4.10 here. I think they'll kick it right down. Lots of support from the infield and the outfield. That's what we want. Get behind these kids. Let's see if we can get some big breakthrough times here and lots of sub 4.10s. Lindsay takes the move now. What a good move that was too. Martin's done the leading. He's going to have to try and latch on. Lindsay eases forward though. Venom makes another move. Hunter going too. Also Bucci, then Tickle, and also it is the other Knox, <laughs> excuse me, runner there in Peyton. But Hunter's one to watch, but gee, Lindsay looks smooth. Look at Will Lindsay go here. He's got a seed time of 4.10. We're on to 3.49, 3.50 now, so he should be under. He's got to do a 20-second last 100. So let's get them going here in the home straight. Will Lindsay, Hunter, Venner coming home strongly as well. Then Martin and Bucci and Tickle Gr and Granger. So the boys are really winding it up. We've got to get a few sub 410s. Oh, Venner maybe got it. 4-9. Hunter under. Bucci as well. Tickle not far off. Nicholas Martin. That was a great run. The unfanked boys are through. Vern will be next run in. And then from Geelong Guild, it will be Stott to round out a very, very competitive men's D1500.